hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can customize the google map okay so as you can see over here that we have some custom markers and if i click on any marker over there then we can see the information related to that marker right so this is called info window so we will build the custom info window and the custom marker there are api documentation is available for google map but why this is important let me show you this is the official documentation of google map custom marker api so as you can see over here that we have some custom markers on our google map and this is the documentation of that but it doesn't have any kind of custom info window so as you can see over here in the documentation we have different kinds of marker so these are three kind of marker and these are some locations right but we don't have any kind of info window so if i'm clicking on any one of these marker we are not seeing any information and on the other hand we have another documentation for the info window as well right so we can see the info windows and we can see over here how we can provide the information related to particular location so over here we can mention the content and when we click on any marker then we will see this information so this info window will open okay so over here we will see how we can create this custom markers which is already available over here in this documentation it will be similar to like this but we will see the multiple info window when we are clicking on any marker then we are seeing that information only so this is the tutorial which i'm going to show you and if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial okay so over here i have created a simple html file and here we have two html elements first one is the h1 where i have provided the title what we are doing in this tutorial and after that we have the map element so for the class map we have this style this css so i have provided height and width with 500 pixel and after that i have id map so this id is used for this map rendering so this map is rendering with this information so we have this zoom property 15 and for the center i provided the center coordinates and here are the coordinates and we are calling this init map function on window load so this is how it's looking so currently we don't have any kind of custom marker or info window we have simple map so we are going to implement custom marker and then we will implement the info window for those markers as well so for that first we can get the help from this custom marker documentation so over here we can see the icons and the various kinds of locations right so these are the locations and these are the icons so i'm just copying these icons and pasting it over here so i will provide two types of icon the first one will be maybe event and within this section we need to provide the url of the custom icon so it should be a url and after that i will provide restaurant and here also we need to provide url and for the other thing i don't need any so i will use these two kind of marker so i have already two type of marker so i'm just copy pasting those urls over here okay so these are the two icons which we will render for our custom marker now after this we can provide different locations for the map and uh, we can provide those information in this manner but i don't want to provide this new google map so i'm just customizing it a little bit so i will create var and within this i will provide information like this so i will provide lat lang and here 
for latitude we will provide latitude value and for longitude we will provide the longitude value and I have already taken some latitude and longitude value so I will just paste those values over here. So these are the value and after this lat length we will provide the type and this type will be either this event or this restaurant. So for the first one I will provide the event type and for other one I will provide restaurant and I will provide some other latitude longitude value ok so I have provided all the information over here and after that now we need to consider this information for our custom markers ok and for that we need to add some more information over here. So for the additional information I am creating another function add marker info and within this function I will create a loop for i equal to 0 i less than markers on map dot length i plus plus. So this for loop will run for the elements within this map on marker array right. So if it is having 4 element then it will run for 4 element if it is 10 then it will run for the 10 elements and over here I will create marker equal to new google marker and here we need to provide the information of the markers. So for it we need to provide the position. So for the position we have this lat length value. So we can pass those lat length values and after that we need to provide the icon and the map. So the position will be marker on map i lat length 0. So the position will be map on marker i value if the i value is 0 then it will run for the first element if the i value increases by 1 then it will be 1 so it will be this value then for 2 it will be this and so on and within this element we will fetch this lat lng so these values so this is our position and after that we need to provide this icons and the map so i am copy pasting it so it will be icon and the icons will be these icons right and we will fetch it from this type so for this it will be icons so it will be icons then it either will be this type or this type so it will be determined from this markers on map array type it will be markers on map i dot type so our type is defined over here and after that we need to point to this icon so it will be dot icon we need to call this add marker info in this init map over here so now if I go to this page and refresh it now we can see that we have custom markers but if I click on any then we cannot see any info window as of now. So for the info window we need to provide some other information for these locations as well. So I will provide place name test event and after that we can provide place event for all of these and I have created some test locations so I am just copy pasting those names ok so for the info window we will display these place names now for that we need to add some more information in this add marker info function so now here we need to provide content string and within h3 I will provide the information of this place name so for that it will be markers on map i and then place name so this is our content string and now for info window let me see what we need to do we need to create this new info window 
so over here I have pasted it ok and after that we need to add this marker add listener as well so this is the click listener which will open so now save it and now let's check how our map is behaving right now so now you can see the info window is opening but there is some problem if we are clicking any one of these markers we are seeing the same information we are not seeing the different information so that's the problem and that's why i am creating this tutorial now we will go into the solution part so now what happening when we are clicking any one of these marker that time it is rendering the info window and it is storing that info window data over here it is not releasing that information after clicking on another marker so we need to clear that previous information when we are clicking on another marker so for that we need to create another function to clear out that information ok so previously we have created this info object now for this info object we can store this info window and we need to create another function to close other info and here we will set this info object with the marker value as null and then we will close it and we will set info object length equal to 0 this will clear out previous information whenever we are clicking any new marker so that's why we need to call this function before calling this info window open so whenever we are clicking any marker that time first we are closing the other information then we are opening a new window and now here we need to do marker get map ok so now if I check this it is not working so let us see ok here we need to provide a condition info object dot length greater than 0 then it will run this code now save this and reload this ok so now it is also not working so we need to make this as const ok so now let us reload this now we can see that our info window is working as expected right so we need to use this close other info so it will close the previous marker and then info window will open for the current marker and we are storing the information over here so that we can pass on that value and work on as we want so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new and it was helpful for your project so if you do so then hit the like button and let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know in the comment section below and i will see you later in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye